Hey everyone, what's up? This is going to be a quick Livid Farm guide um, just to show how I've, I've been doing Livid Farm. It's not going to be an in-depth guide because <laughs> I don't think anyone really cares about like all the details and stuff. The way I get there is just to use the Lodestone network. It's nice and easy. You don't need to get any teleports or anything. You should have that unlocked anyway if you've done the quest and stuff. And then, yeah, you're pretty much there um, if you run in the right direction, that is. Or you don't lag, because, you know, you are playing RuneScape, so you've got to be used to a bit of lag. You're going to need to bring the usual runes, deaths, astrals, laws, cosmics, natures and mine runes. They're the main ones you need. I have War and Earth because you get them as like rewards from the little event things. Now, the main reason I'm doing this is because people say that Livid Farms are massive grind and it's just constant clicking. I'm going to show my method for how I do it, which like pretty much halves the clicking. Now, the way I do it is I miss out doing fences and these logs. Um, you get 20 points for each fence each round there's two fences that you can fix and there's 60 rounds in an hour so I miss those out which means I lose like 2000 points an hour which isn't bad because doing the fences gets you like I think it's 18 to 19 K points an hour and missing out the fences gets you 16 K points per hour now Obviously that means you're going to have to do more hours of live farm, but the way I do it, you don't have to click as much. So basically you do all the plants, um, all the empty patches, pretty much, uh, ah, the cycle start again, right, I'll start again. You do everything over here, so all the patches and diagnose all the plants. Um, I usually have it in full screen as well to so I can see like the whole farm so I don't even have to move the camera around and I, o I always do the produce pile because you get a lot of points for doing that so don't skip that make sure you do that I think you get 120 points for doing that and then basically that's all I do I just wait until the cycle starts again when there's not a produce pile you have to energize this bird here but yeah and then you have like 40 seconds to browse YouTube or go on various <laughs> other websites that whatever you want to do or watch TV or play Xbox it's just a lot easier because if you're doing the fences you have to get the planks out of the little thing and turn those into whatever you turn them into planks or whatever and by the time you've done that and repaired the fence, the next cycle is starting, so you don't really get a break. But missing out the fence is like pretty much half the clicking you do, and you only lose uh, 2k points per hour. So yeah, I thought it might be help because I'm not. I always see people doing fences, and I don't know. I guess if you are paying a lot of attention to the screen, and yeah, <laughs> fair enough, but. This is kind of for people that really aren't enjoying the farm, so that's about it really. I don't think I missed anything out. Thumbs up if you if this helps you out or whatever. Um yeah. Thanks for watching and goodbye.